Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody, and I have my kit results for my October kit. Um, I'll share everything with you. I'm going to share what I have left, what I've used up, and what I've made. I made, let's see, 12 layouts and 7 cards. So I'll share those with you in just a moment. First, let me show you what is left from the kit. So, I kind of wrote it down. I started with 15 12 by 12 papers, 2 8.5 by 11 pieces of cardstock, and three kind of major scrap pieces. So let me show you what I have left. And by the way, my kind of tool of choice this month, and it wasn't really a tool, it was more an embellishment of a choice, were these small little um, doodads. And of course I didn't use anything up, but I did, I was very pleased with how I used them. Um, a lot of things like these little flower sequins I never use, so I challenged myself to use some of the things like that. Um, and I really like how they ended up on the layouts. Set these aside. Okay, throughout the month I keep my kit in this iris container. It's just easy to have it in one spot. I can throw everything in here and then also pull it out when I'm ready. I use this same table for sewing. Um, and also a lot of times whenever I'm filing all our bills and stuff, I lay them out on this table. So it's definitely a multifunctional table. And I am in my craft room, which is in my loft. So it is a little bit visible to the rest of the house. So I like to try to keep things nice and neat. And keep them in this iris container it helps me do that. So let me take everything out and I'll show you what I have left. Okay, so I have everything out now. So of the papers, this is all I have left. Uh, again, I said I started with 15 12 by 12 sheets, 2 8.5 by 11, and 3 major scraps. And all I really have left are 3 scraps. I really did not like this paper. I thought I was going to like it, but I used it as much as I could. I just didn't really like it. So I'll put it back in my stash, but I'm going to try to get rid of this as soon as possible because it's not my favorite. I have this blue striped paper with the green polka dots on the back, and then I have this red numbered paper with yellow stripes on the back. And then I do have some little scraps here. I'm probably going to only keep um, I don't know, maybe none of it. Maybe just this piece because it's kind of large. I'll probably keep that in my little I have this little this little bin that just has little bits of pieces of paper and whenever I'm trying to back a frame or something I'll pull something out of here. So I'll probably just throw this in here. Maybe I'll throw these too because I like the the stripes. The rest of this will just get trashed. So I just have three pieces that I'm putting back in my stash, which is pretty good if you think about it. These are basically just replacing the three scraps I used to begin with, um, but I used up 17 sheets of paper otherwise. Alright. So let me move this aside. Um, I use my six by six paper pad. I don't know exactly how many sheets I used out of here, but I did pull from it a lot. It was a nice supplement, especially at the end of the kit when I was starting to run out of papers. I pulled this out a lot. And what I do with these scraps, I have this envelope that I've cut off the little flat for, and I just keep the scraps in here. Just keeps it with the kit collection, which is nice. And then I just put it all back together. All right. So for the embellishments, I used this, these were two full sheets, and I used it a bunch of times. I do have a few pieces here that I had already punched out, but I didn't end up using. There you go. So I'll probably just stick these in a little Ziploc bag and put them back with here, but I used it, let's see, one, two, three. So 24, so 20 pieces, which is pretty good, honestly. Um, so I'll set this aside. I also used, so I had, I thought I had pulled out four spools of ribbon, but maybe I just remember this one, I can't remember, but I didn't use up any of them, but I did use all of them. And then I have three flare left. I used up um, the little resin heart uh, flowers and a few of the other flares, but these will all just go back in my stash. Of the sticker sheets, so I had four sticker sheets plus this one little piece that I had pulled out. I used everything on here except for this yellow, I mean orange border, so I'll cut it off and put it with my border strips, but the rest of this will just get thrown away. 
Perfect Summer. I used up a lot on this sticker sheet, but I still have a good amount left. Here I used up everything except for the alphas. I didn't finish the alphas, so I'll go ahead and cut the alphas and store them with my alpha sheets. Used up a few things on here on this Hello Summer um, page, but not very many. And the same thing here, a few things on this Everyday Eclectic, but not very much. Um, let's see. I still have a good amount of things. I have two labels left. I, this is, okay, so this is my little Ziploc bag of Ellie Studio die cuts, and I probably have used about 75% of what I purchased back in August, which is pretty darn good. I'm very pleased with those. I'm going to continue to, to buy those and use them. Used a few of these stickers. Used a few of these frames. I don't really like these frames. So I like the color of them, but as soon as you stick something to it and try to move it, it really starts to kind of make the... Um, the cardboard, so it's not a very good chipboard, I guess I should say. It starts to make the cardboard kind of fall apart. So I'm going to start using the, those and get rid of them. Um, I used a few of these hearts and dots, as you can see, and I ended up using, I had a sheet of green of this, which I did not put with my kit, but I ended up using it as foam tape in my kit, because I ran out of foam tape. Um, I think I used one of these. Um, craft die cuts. I'm going to put that back in my stash. I used a few of these little mini cupcake holders. Have washi left. I did use up three spool, uh, three, not spools. Oh, I can't think of it. Three washi tape though. Of course, I have my stickles left. I really didn't use those very much. I have a little bit of this ribbon left. It'll probably just go in my stash. And I have used up everything but one, or all but one, of these um, overlay frames. I have a few pieces left from the... Um, oh, here's another one of those chipboard things. I have a few pieces of this Jelly Bean Soup punched out set, so I'll put that back. I am probably going to throw these away... I had pulled out a lot of blue and green flowers, and these got stuck in there, so um, I didn't mean to actually pull these out when I was pulling my kit out, so I used all the blue and green ones, but those are left. And then I have all these little die cuts that I had pulled out to use, and I used a lot of them, but this is what I have left. But I'll keep them. Even that one, though it's cut, I'll keep it. Alright, so let me continue to show you what else I have left. Alright, and then I do not like these alphas, by the way. Don't like them. Terrible. There's not enough letters to, to make more than one or two titles with, and now I don't know what to do with them. So I'll keep them, but I don't know what to do with them. And as you can see, I've used these. These are all still going in my stash. I used multi them multiple times. These are kind of bad. As you can see, they keep coming off the backing part, but I'm going to use them. I didn't use up any alphas, but I am definitely using them. I used that one a lot. Oh, and I forgot these sticker sheets. I used them a few times. All right. And lastly, I have my Project Life cards. And what I made a huge dent in was this A Perfect Summer by Echo Park cards. I only have these left. So I'm going to keep them, of course. Actually, I don't know if this goes with this one, but anyways, I just have these two left, so I'll put all this back in my stash. Alright, and here's what I used up. Which, my goal in these stash kits is to try to use up at least three things every month, and then of course to use up the papers that I pull out. I buy... Not very frequently, but I do buy stuff each month, and so every time I buy something, I want to replace, I want to finish something else. So I, I finished up these Freckle Fawn Pink and Silver Puppy Stars stickers, these SEI Rub-Ons, the Poppy Collection. Uh -huh. Yeah. Put your hand under. Hi. All right, um, I used up three washi tapes. This was a blue striped, um, a gray polka dot. Came, came, stop. And I can't remember what the other one was, but I used up three. Yes. 
um, washi tapes. Then I used up these Dear Lizzie frames. Use those up. I used up these puffy heart stickers. I used up a the, all the green and blue flowers. The um, EK Success Sweet Treat sticker sheet. And then also these Cosmo Cricut Stack stickers. And these are the Baby Jane set. So I used up quite a bit this month. Not everything was a full pack when I started, but I did use up a lot. And then here's what I made. So I made seven cards. Hello. Live like there's no tomorrow. And hello. A girl should be two things. Classy and fabulous. All you need is love. Summer is here again. And thanks. This is where I used a lot of those rub-ons. Then I made 12 layouts. So these are the order that I completed them. This first one is called True Happiness. And there's a process video for every single one of these, so I'm not going to go into detail on them. There's this one. First haircut. I love this corrugated paper. At the dinosaur exhibit. Summertime adventures and then it has experience adventures so it's kind of a double title here. These are some of those flare I used. Oh and I did have three doilies and I used all of them up. Um, look at that boy grow. This is a Christmas card of my nephew. Downtown, July 4th, 2014. Grandma time, so very special. And I do have two additional photos here. They just fit right here on the top in this little pocket. Look at that smile. I got my journaling here on the side. I like that. Um, fourth fun. And I used another flare over here. I used a lot of these LA Studio 3x4 cards on this one. Mama and Mel. These are, these are all those blue flowers. And this one has a lot of dimension. It's not heavy, but it has a lot of dimension with these flowers. Really like that. Um, my super cute boy. I used my scraps. This is where I ran out of big, big pieces of paper. I used my scraps and the 6x6 pad to make this heart out of squares. Really like that. It's a little bit different for my style, but I like that. And I did use my hot glue gun to give these a little bit more dimension. And then lastly, this one's the Freedom Festival at the YMCA. And I was out of paper at this point, so I had to pull this 12 by 12 sheet out of my stash. This is where I used up some of that silver and white paper. I really just don't like it, so I'm going to use it up as much as I can. All right, and that is it. Thank you for joining me today. Um, go back through the last month to see the process videos on these layouts if you'd like. Um, please subscribe and you'll be able to get notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks. Bye.